y'all. Welcome to my studio. Uh, Denise Saro here, a teacher, student, and artist at Art on 30th and Ashton Gallery, um, as some of you may know. And welcome to the Big Q. The Big Q seven day challenge uh, has been pretty exciting this week. It's really fun to, to tune in every day and see what everybody's working on. It's really pretty exciting for all of us. Um, so I just wanted to give you, uh, first of all, encouragement and thanks for doing that. And it's really kind of fun to look on there and recognize people's work even before you see who it is. Um, and that's the kind of community that I think we have going on that Kate has created for us all. We all are familiar with each other's work and get really excited and encourage each other to um, keep at it and keep going. And that's what that this seven day challenge is all about is to keep connected, to keep us all connected when we can't be um, and to keep us encouraged, encouraged to, to be with our art um, that is definitely one thing we can kind of get lost in in these days where things are not what they used to be. But our artwork and our creative life still can be that. We can get lost in it and not get caught up in everything that's going around us. It's nice to be aware, but just not get caught up in it. So what I've been doing is I've challenged myself along with this seven day challenge. I've already challenged myself. As you may know, with this stack of 12 by 12 boards that I had cut all from a four by eight sheet, and I had a lot of extra boards, so I stacked them all up together. And my challenge before this is all over um, is to go through and get all of these boards painted, get get paintings on them. And I'm really enjoying it, and it's really kind of fun because I lay out four at a time and I work on a series, which is really nice because when you're doing that, you're not getting so focused on one board. You have four that you're just moving around the whole time. When you get stuck on one, you move to the next. And it's really pretty, um, it's a really a great way to get lost in your artwork. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. Um, this one is going to be a series, my papers aren't glued down because I just started this one with uh, vases and flowers of some sort. And you've seen a couple that I've already done um, that have been part of the seven day challenge. I had did a series of these that were conversations over coffee. Um, I think I finished all of them. And um, on top of that, another thing that I've done because I'm gonna have a lot of boards. It's really not gonna be cost effective for me to frame them all. But what I can do is I um, cut five inch by five inch, little one and a half by half inch uh, pieces of wood and made little floater frames that I don't care how, how um, precise they are. If it's something precise, I leave that up to my friend um, Kirsten because she is much better at framing than I am. But these little guys, I can knock out pretty easy. And I'm home and I have a chop saw, so I may as well do it. But the cool thing is, um, I put this on, I do the little blocks, I glue them down, let them set overnight, lay my boards down, and I can spray paint the whole thing to get the back and the sides. So that's all finished off. And then what's really nice is when these hang, they hang like a floater. Let me see if I can show that better. So we're on, they're on the wall. They hang like, um, they just kind of are suspended on the wall. I really, I really like it. So I've got, I think I've got 10 of them done or 12 of them done. I have this stack yet to do. And just for an update, the video that we are the live uh, sheltering in the studio that we did two weeks ago, the four pieces that I was working on were just eight inch um, little boards. And with those guys, I just cut a piece of wood and put a screw, drilled a hole in it so it can hang right on a nail and just glued it to the back of my boards, laid them down, spray painted them all black. So this also will act as a little floater. 
and it, it, they really are kind of nice to do that. Um, but also, for those of you who were watching as I did my papers and got the start on these four little paintings, um, and as, the, as I was finishing up my live presentation, and you were texting or you were sending little messages going by like, don't stop now, we want to watch you paint. Well, I did do a video on finishing these on paint, with painting them, and I speeded it up so you don't have to sit and watch paint dry. But it is kind of fun to watch the process of these four little, uh, this little series get finished off. So I posted that on my Facebook page. It's on the Art on 30th Facebook page, and it's also on my YouTube channel. And on my YouTube channel, you can watch it. Um, really fast in two minutes you can watch it 20 times speed or you can watch it in eight minutes and I think it's four times speed so it's speeded up that um, you're not gonna sit and watch paint dry so uh, if you want to see me finish these four boards uh, pop over to any of those spots and take a look and um, until I see you next time which may be here again on Facebook or it might be in person. We just don't really know, you know, it's a day by day thing, but I hope it's soon because I really miss my friends and, um, and my art buddies and my students and uh, the people that I see every day when I'm at the studio. Um, we all miss each other and we miss that interaction, interaction in that community and it'll be so great to get back to that. But until then, I'm good with staying healthy and staying safe and staying in my studio. I'm getting so much done. And um, love to you all, hugs to you all, and I can't wait till we're back together again. But until then, take the challenge. Even if you're just now checking in on it, do it. Um, grab, grab something. Grab a paper bag. Paint on a paper bag. I have these little guys laying on my art table because with, when all else, when I run out of things to do, I can paint on a paper bag. So it doesn't matter what you're painting on or what you're painting, that you're painting. That's what we all want. So uh, get a painting up online, throw it in the, the comments below this, and stay tuned the next two days at one o'clock to see what the other teachers are doing. And um, again, look forward to seeing you all again um, soon, hopefully in person.